going on everyone so today's sunday lazy day feeling sluggish but you know what i still got up early today i went for an early jog i feel good i feel pumped up and excited because today i got another product for the shop so this is another tool that i finally got i already have one but you know i decided i had the extra birthday money <laughs> so you know i made an investment so let's check out what we got you guys ready check it out so this is a customer's car we're going to be working on it so i want to try out this new tool on this so let's check it out so you guys already know there's a knife rip it out and anyways actually this is my mother's vehicle so we're going to do a little brake service on her vehicle she needs brakes it's squealing you know how it is so it's about that time we switch out the oem um brake pads and install some new ones but we're going to test out this new tool that i finally got so let's see what it is you guys ready check it out there we go the milwaukee stubby impact so i really i saw some good reviews about this stubby impact gun and you know i thought i as well make the investment and purchase it let's see how it is and see if it works and it looks great so let's open it up and let's see what it is guys so, so here we go i'm getting i'm being, becoming a fan of milwaukee because they have great tools as you guys can see the stubby impact gun has been out for a while and but i finally made the purchase so i finally purchased it and um well let's open it up but anyways i decided to go with this i do have a dewalt impact gun but it's one of those like drill impacts so you got to insert it the little adapter so you can attach the, the sockets on it so it, it brings up like maybe like an inch two inches and a half out from the gun itself so that can be annoying when you're working like inside a vehicle and you know basically it takes it takes up room so that's why i decided to go with this stubby impact and i've seen a lot of good reviews on youtube that this this particular um, product itself is really good you know you can get in tight places and gets the job done so that's why i decided to purchase it let's check it out of course i'm gonna do a brake service you guys can see good old autozone supplied me not sponsored but i just did go there and i purchased this these brake pads that we're gonna install in my mother's vehicle so let's open this up real quick I'm not going to do a full on review. Like I told you guys, there's plenty of YouTube videos, good YouTube videos on reviews on this um, impact gun. So I'm not going to bore you with that. So let's open it up and let's check it out. You guys can see, look at that. Nice. It looks great. You guys can see. And it's cool. It has 250 pounds of torque. So that should be enough to take out the the, the lug nuts on, on a vehicle. So the Dewalt one that I do have, like I said, it does have like probably like an inch out with the adapter and then you put the, the socket in it and it does take up a little bit of torque power, but either way it does take out the, the lug nuts out. So imagine this one, we're gonna install a, a socket on it and pull them out, it should be enough. So let's zoom in. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what's inside, all right? Let's check it out. Something about this red just stands out. So you guys can see, zooming in, you get a close look. So you guys can really take a good detailed look slow motion <laughs> but check it out it looks great it has the little clip on here if you want to attach it to your belt and of course the four modes up on top you guys can see go slower than to full torque etc you can read the instructions on that but it looks very compact and let's see what else it has inside it comes with one battery small battery and then the other one so i this is one thing that people get confused about real quick i'm just gonna do this real quick um this one just prolongs battery life. This one's a bigger one compared to the smaller one. It's not that you get extra power. That's what I saw in a lot of reviews. It's just you get prolonged uh, battery life on this bigger one. So it's a little bit more expensive than the original uh, small battery pack. So pretty, pretty much you get a longer battery life on this one. At least the, batter, uh, the, the tool will last longer. As you guys can see it has the light right there. And, and there we go. Pretty cool, right? All right. And of course it comes with your charger. So there we go. That's what it comes with. And let's check it out. All right, so I thought I'd make a little comparison with the Dewalt gun that I have. Hopefully these two brands don't get mad at me, but it's your fault for not sponsoring me, just playing. But anyway, let's do the comparison real quick. So you guys can see, like I mentioned, you guys can see the difference. So this is my Dewalt gun, and it's, um, it's been a good gun. I've had it for four years, and it's working great, flawlessly. But we can see the difference. Let's zoom in. You guys can see the tip of the socket on the gun itself. It's closer and it's more compact versus this one. You guys see how far it extends out. So you can see how it become a problem when you're working inside your, your vehicle. If there is a very tight spot, you're not going to be able to get this in there. So, but this one, stick it in there, take the bolt out versus this one, you'll get the job done. You're just going to struggle more. Two, two great guns, but I'm just saying the difference between both of them. So they're great guns, both of them, but this one's going to be probably my, one of my favorite tools from here on now.
so fortunately I did get a 3.8 impact gun. So I'm gonna have to use an adapter to install a 20, uh, 22 millimeter um, socket. So it shouldn't take up too much power. So let's give it a first try. It only has, as you guys can see right there, it only has half of a battery life. So we're gonna see how powerful it is at halfway life. So let's take a look, let's test at it. Not bad, let's do another one. As you guys saw, I zipped out the lug nuts pretty good and it wasn't that bad. Um, of course, the lug nuts were torqued down to 76 foot pounds, so it wasn't like super tough. But anyways, it got them out pretty good. Got the tire on. So all we gotta do now is take out the brake pads now and install the new one. So let's do that now. All right, so this is where I meant where the demonstration with the my Dewalt gun comes in play. Cause look, you have the adapter on it. So, I mean, I can get it out, but look at how far I stick out with the extension and in the socket, it's, I'm pretty much hitting the exhaust uh, pipe down up here. So, but the socket, I have very little room. So, with the new stubby impact, look at the difference. You can get it in here and look at how much room I have with the socket. So when I zip it out, it should be no problem. So that's where it comes in handy being it, a compact tool like this comes in handy. So there you have it, a quick example of the stubby impact going to work. Um, it helped out just being in a compact place. Not, I mean, uh, not the most compact place, but just a quick example how it worked and it worked great. Uh, zipped them out right out. So I'm gonna change these brake pads. You guys already know how to do that. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. Um, I'll show you a little bit more detail how I do my brake service on the, on the front side of the vehicle. But for now on the rear, I'm just gonna slap those on, install the new ones, and then just install those and we'll, we'll continue on. Okay, so I pretty much finished the vehicle all around. My mom's vehicle is pretty much done. Uh, she has a 2015 Scion XB. So since 2015, we haven't switched out the brake pads. So it's about time we do that. So let's hit the front ones real quick. Easy tool. Like I said, only one bar or light of, of battery life left on it. Still getting the job done. So there we go. You guys can see one. Bar. Of course, not that hard to take out um, caliper bolts off, but the, the tool works great because it's it works well. It goes inside, takes out the bolts easily. All right, so let's let me give you a quick run through of how I service my brake pads. All right, you guys all know the drill. Just pull out the caliper out, put it on the side, don't let it fall down, and of course, uh, brake pads. You guys can see they're pretty worn out. They still got a little bit more life, but might as well take them out. You guys can see there's cracks on them, which is not good. Eventually, they'll go out. You guys all know that. You guys are all smart. You guys can probably do this yourself. Um, so you guys see, they need some service. They need to be um, swapped out. So you guys can see the new one. Let's compare them real quick. You guys can see the thickness. Oh, yeah. Big difference. They're pretty much done, right? Oh, my bad. There we go. There we go. It's probably like a quarter of the brake pad alive so there we go switch them out and install these new ones so that's gonna be great so another youtube person that i follow is nestor the mechanic at the oc mechanics if you have you ever seen my video nestor thank you for recommending this caliper tool so this pretty much uh puts the piston of the caliper back in so it's a great tool and it works excellent. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And I've been using this uh, synthetic brake and caliper grease because it works great. Obviously, you can buy some at AutoZone or Rallys or Napa, but this one I got at Napa and it's a great um, grease. It helps uh, keep those brakes quiet. So if you guys are interested, check it out at Napa. Just get a brake caliper grease. It's kind of expensive, but I mean, you get a whole little um, little 12 ounce of grease. It'll last you for a while. Probably had this for like 10 years and I'm barely, I'm barely about to finish it. So you guys can see, probably done like a good amount of brake uh, services. So there we go. You guys can see that it works well. I recommend it. So use it on every brake job if you guys want to. So let's do that. Let's clean it up. Do some brake cleaner, clean everything out and then install everything. So I'll show you guys once I have everything installed. All right, let's do it. Regardless of what you do, you're going to end up getting all dirty when you do a brake job, no matter how clean you try to be. But at least you're not that greasy when you use latex gloves. 
Anyways, I want to show you real quick how I uh, grease up the brake pads. I get a little bit of grease. I know everyone, it varies. Some people don't say don't just install them like that. I got the good kind of brake pads. Of course, my mother's vehicle, you always got to treat your mother right. Get her the best. All right? Remember, she gave you life and she, she raised you up, right? So I appreciate your mother. Always buy her the best. So anyway, I got her the brake, uh, the best brake pads I could I could get. And so what I like doing, just spreading it out. I know, like I said, a lot of people vary on this. Some people might, uh, why the hell are you putting grease on it? Just install them like that. Well, just to keep them quiet for that reason, that's why I use this grease because it works excellent. I add a little bit right here. Some people don't, like I said. Uh, comment down below the way you do it, um, the way you grease up your the brake pads on your vehicle. But this is pretty, basically how I do it. All right, so there you go, just a light amount of grease on the brake pads and there you go it's ready to go ready to get installed so let's install it real quick um so this is this is something that anyone can do yeah. just always annoying dealing with the new hardware you got it oh, but there you go just squeeze it in there and there we go almost there there we go all right so now with the brake pads in we're going to install that piston to, to uh, push it back into the caliper and then we'll see it all in so there you guys have it real cool so let's show you guys how i use this uh piston caliper tool just to uh to get that caliper back inside there you go all right so my good friend esther <laughs> i don't know him but he recommended this tool and it works great so you guys can see right there it's installed you put the old brake pad in there to re uh, push the piston back in and then it's as easy as that just compressing it back in do it with one hand, and there you go. It compresses the uh, piston back in. So keep an eye out on the brake uh, fluid reservoir. You might get a little spillage of brake fluid, but that's fine. That's normal. And there, there you have it. Push that, and it's as easy as that. So you guys have it. Piston re uh, retracted back in. You guys can see right there. It's all good. It's all flat. So now we can install it. So let's do that real quick. go and there it is put on the bolts and we're completely done so there we have it a complete brake service done on my mother's vehicle like i told you guys make sure to treat your mothers right they're over there everything so you guys can see um the brake fluid reservoir is completely to the max so it's excellent even though the brake pads were worn no spillage came out so there we go so there you guys have it this tool is working out excellent so i'm liking it so i definitely recommend this tool <laughs> so there you guys have it one complete brake service done no not that many details but you guys know how to do it so just wanted to show you guys how i'm using this uh milwaukee stubby impact gun three uh, three quarters so there you go it's working great and i gonna be using it like i said on on other installations whether it's on the jeep or other vehicles it's gonna be of my working horse so so my final thoughts on this gun, excellent. Like I said, it's kind of pricey. I purchased it again, $250 for this uh, impact stubby gun. So anyways, I made the investment, it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Like I said, I do work on vehicles from every now and then. So I get a little extra extra income for my friends. They tip me, of course. Um, but anyways, this is a good product. I'm gonna definitely include this in my Jeep uh, when I'm out in the trails. Instead of carrying your original sock, uh, ratchets and sockets, I'm just gonna take this out. It's compact. I can just throw it in the bag and throw it in the Jeep. So if you guys are interested, purchase it. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gonna help you guys out on the trail. It's investment, but if you're investing in your Jeep, I'm pretty sure you can invest in some quality tools as well. I'm not saying that these so uh, ratchets and sockets won't work, but you know, it's better to have something that's gonna help you get the job faster if you're off on the trail or if you're servicing your Jeep or your other vehicle in your shop. So anyway, this is gonna conclude the video real quick. Just a quick brake installation and just showing you guys how I use this uh, stubby Milwaukee impact gun. And anyways, I enjoyed it, so. Hopefully you guys have, uh, if you guys want to purchase it, purchase it. And if you have questions, comment down below your ideas, your comments, uh, your perspective of what you guys think about these guns, or if you're going to stick uh, with the ratchets, comment down below. So thank you guys for joining this quick video. Hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you in the next one. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Later.